Hey, what's going on guys? Woogie TV Wanted here and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about card points. So card points were announced yesterday and honestly, I was super excited from it. We had a big, big, big new update yesterday, come with loads of really cool stuff and uh, obviously card points were now just released. It was, you know, it was around two hours ago now when it was released and I want to talk to you guys about card points. So uh, the prices with card points were released yesterday and uh, I just want to quickly talk about the prices. I want to talk about, uh, you know, the value of them and just talk, you know, just talk generally about them. Because of course we had advanced supply drops yes last year. Not gonna lie, they were the biggest rip off I've kind of seen. Uh, but I honestly think Black Ops Three COD points has topped it. So um, first off, we're just gonna quickly go into the price. So we're gonna start off here with 200 COD points. Which by the way, guys, if you, if um, you want to PlayStation Four or Xbox One right now, um, I know it's for PlayStation Four. I don't know about Xbox, but uh, you actually get 200 free COD points, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I think that's a really cool thing. I don't know why Xbox hasn't got it right yet. I just checked my Xbox and it hasn't come on. So uh, it should be it should be very soon when you get your uh, free card points. Uh, so we're gonna go into the price right now. So as you guys can see from the PlayStation Store, one pound sixty for two hundred card points, seven ninety nine for one thousand one hundred card points, fifteen ninety nine for two thousand four hundred card points, and thirty one ninety nine for five five thousand card points. As for dollars, it's two dollars for two hundred, uh, ten dollars for one thousand one hundred. I believe it's twenty three dollars for uh. Yeah, for 2,400 and 39.99 for 5,000 card points. So, uh, obviously, you, you know, you're thinking, um, 200 card points. Obviously, one one pound sixty was the exact same price as one advanced supply drop. Well, 200 card points is equivalent to one rare supply drop. Um, I'm just saying, guys, you can't actually get normal supply drop from these card points. It's only rare ones. And I and I, and so most of you guys know. Common supply drops are better, you get more stuff, you get, you know, obviously you get less chance of a rare item, but overall you get more stuff and more likely going to get those really cool epic and legendary camos, so only rare ones are available, which again, that really sucks, and it's £1.64 a rare supply drop. And what I'm going to do in this video is obviously I want to talk about uh, what you can buy with these card points, and also I want to just, I might as well just open a rare supply drop right now. I've got 200 card points, and I just want to show you guys... This is basically what one pound sixty or two dollars uh, will get you if, of course, you do buy the rare supply drop. Of course, you can buy other stuff with these, like uh, extra credit classes and also liquid divisions, which I'm going to talk about liquid divisions uh, later on. So um, let's get into it. So, as you guys can see right now, I get a rare and two commons. If I paid real money for this, that is what I would get. One rare, which I'm not going to lie, that rare looks pretty awful, and two commons. Just imagine just paying one pound sixty for that blows blows my mind that this could honestly honestly be the biggest rip off even like even worse than advanced warfare because at least in advanced warfare you had variants you had things to go for like speakeasies obsidian steeds and so so much more but with this you've got yeah you got some cool skins i know they've added wrench and knuckle dusters which by the way that looks really really awesome but i'm not paying 160 just to have a you know a small chance of getting it and uh at least with advanced supply drops you got some really cool stuff with these, yeah, I guess some some stuff is genuinely really cool, but it's it's not the same as Advanced Warfare. And honestly, I thought Advanced Warfare was the biggest rip off as well. So uh, that's the multiplayer side of uh, of these card points. Obviously, you can buy extra credit class slots, which I mean that's pretty cool. I mean, obviously, extra credit class slots are always kind of paid DLC in you know Black Ops Two, Ghosts, and Advanced Warfare. So that's no big deal. So we're gonna go quickly go into the Zombies mode right now and talk about Liquid Divinums because I think this is even more of a rip off. So. Uh, you know, it's the same deal. You can press Y to spend your card points, and uh, you know, same price, one sixty, seven ninety nine, and so on. And uh, what you actually get with your two hundred card points is you get three liquid diviniums, three liquid diviniums for one pound sixty. Now, to put this put this in perspective. If you play the giant, which I do, I like to rank up the giant. I just find it kind of a fun map. Uh, you get two liquid diviniums as a maximum. And you usually get those liquid diviniums by round fifteen. If you just you know go around, buy all the perks, buy all the doors, and so on. So if you play two games of the Giants, you would get four Liquid Divinums. That's that's just that's, you get more than paying. That's obviously, and you obviously pay one sixty for three Liquid Divinums. One pound sixty for three Liquid Divinums. We can just play the Giant twice. You know, have two good games of the Giant and get the same amount. So it absolutely it absolutely boggles my mind. I'm honestly so disappointed with this that. Um, Kind of like it's just really disappointing because I really want to do liquid divinium openings, but uh, I'm not spending that kind of money on liquid diviniums or rare supply drops or anything. Maybe the credit class do do kind of sound like an alright deal. I'm not gonna lie. And obviously they could add you know more stuff in the future, add more bigger um, card points, uh, you know card point bundles like they do with advanced warfare. Obviously that's a possibility, but uh, I really don't see them reducing the price anytime soon. And uh, 
honestly, in my opinion, it's even more of a rip-off than Advanced Warfare, and Advanced Warfare was a big rip-off, so, uh, definitely, obviously, I know, I know they're the same price, but at least with Advanced Warfare, you got variants and so on, but, um, Honestly, guys, please, please don't buy these. Zero. I can't just comprehend how much a rip on and how disappointed I am with these. So, yeah, that's about it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy, just hit that like button. It would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching.